Tyler, how much confidence do you have in this offensive line to protect you? Yeah, I got great confidence in these guys. You know, they, they work the tail off and uh, they're prepared. They know they got a great test in front of them. Eagles uh, defensive line, uh, one of the better in, in the league. So, um, you know, but I got great confidence in them. They'll, they'll do their job. They'll, they'll uh, you know, give us enough time to make the plays. Eli, you said yesterday that you expected there will be more sacks this year. Um, why is that? Why will there be more sacks? Yeah, you said, well, you know, I expect there will be more sacks. We just have to fight through. As in, there will be, yes, they'll, I'll get sacked again this year. And that's what I mean. Not more. I will get sacked another time this year. That's what I meant. That's just part of football. Uh, you know, I've played in NFC Championship games where I got sacked six times, and, and so that's just part of it. You know, you're playing against a good defensive line. There's going to be times. You know, some of it's you know obviously some of it's uh, you know uh, coverage. Some of it's the plays that you have called. Some of it's what the defense is doing. So. Hey, that, that's just part of it. Uh, you know, these these guys, uh, offense line, not worried about them. They'll 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 do their jobs and they'll give us enough time. And we gotta we gotta make sure, um, you know, we're smart and we're, we're calling plays that give us a great opportunity to, um, you know, get the ball out on time. When you look back at, at the games, do you see things that you could have done to help out the line, whether it's getting out of the pocket or getting the ball out quicker, things that a quarterback could do to help them out? Um, yeah, I mean, there's all, there's always, um, you know, there, there's always things you can do. You can always look back and say, oh, I could have, you know, maybe moved a little bit here, or I could have, uh, you know, you know, um, you know, gotten through this progression a little faster. So there's, there, there's, you know, things you can, you can always do um, looking back. But you know, that, that's uh, sometimes, hey, you're, you're looking downfield, or you know, you, you might, you know, uh, sometimes you feel the rush, sometimes you don't. That's just football and. And um, you know, so uh, yeah, but there's always there's always stuff you can look at to improve on and try to help those guys out. Eli, judging by 2007, you're a guy who knows a thing or two about recovering from 0-2 starts. What lesson can you take from that team that you can impart on this team in this recovery? Well, I think you just gotta you gotta believe that um, you know going through going through tough times uh, uh, will make you stronger, will make you stronger as a team. So, you, but you gotta get through them and and. Um, you know, uh, that, that's kind of the situation we're in. You know, that, hey, we're, there's going to be, there's always going to be ups and downs of, of a season. We're kind of, you know, hopefully this is, um, you know, we kind of hit that that uh, the, the rough patch and and we'll work ourselves out of it. And but it's just going to come, you know, through our, our our hard work, our dedication, our commitment to to fix things. Eli, sorry, I'm back. Yeah. Um, how good would a quick start feel for the offense? Does that feel like something important? And over your years in the league, have you? Sort of developed any little secrets or methods or tips that you feel like, you know, can get something going quickly. Yeah, I mean, hey, you always want a quick start. That's always always a goal, and um, um, you know, we, and we gotta just we just gotta, uh, you and know, we've been behind a lot. You know, right? Like you guys, your offense has been back on its heels pretty much. Yeah, you know, and so yeah, I mean, the first uh, first two games, you know, first series, uh, you know, had a, had a sack in the first series. So, um, you know, we got we got to try to you know get the ball out on time, be smart about things, um, and you know, but obviously, uh, you know, we got to see what the defense is doing, what what they're playing, and you know, sometimes that's a you know you can get the ball out right on time. Sometimes, depending on the coverage or what they're doing, you got to hold it a little bit. So, whatever we got to do, uh, you know, guys are gonna play hard. We'll be ready. Ben said he's considering <coughs> handing off play calling duties that he hasn't decided, but he's considering it. Can that be a spark to an offense if there's a different voice in the headset, just a new approach to what you're running? You know, I don't, I don't think, uh, you know, but I guess besides uh, besides me, I don't know if anybody would notice uh, who's calling the plays, um, you know, or the other quarterbacks. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, I don't think it's um, the play calling that's been the problem. I think it's the, the execution. How much has Mike done it since he's been here in regards to play calling? When is he? He's done preseason. He's done some preseason. Um, you know, he calls in practice a bunch, so he knows. You know, um, you know, he's he's called before, um, but yeah. Was it different for him when he does do it? Uh, you know, I don't know if he did any of the preseason games I was in or not, but uh, you know, in practice, he's, he's usually the one in my helmet in practice, just so McAdoo can kind of coach and see what's going on. Um, and so, uh, no, I can I can understand what he what he's saying. Eli, a lot has been made of the public um, criticism from Ben a after that game the other night. And you, you were asked about it yesterday on the radio. And gave a, a pretty thoughtful answer to it. Is there anything about it that <clears throat> that disturbs you, or that makes you feel a need to talk to Ben uh, no. about any of the things that he's? No, so no, no. Uh, <laughs> 
Hey, you know, it's that's part of part of being in the NFL. Um, you know, you, you can't be sensitive. I think everybody's gotten very sensitive uh, uh, players and, and and everybody. Just you know, if someone you know uh, says anything negative about you or you did something wrong, that that you got a problem. Uh, Coach McAdoo and I have a great relationship. I think he understands that. Um, you know, I, I, I've told him in, when he first got here. I enjoy being coach. I enjoy if I screw something up. Let me know, you know, I, I'm, uh, I, I want to be coach. And so, you know, we, we talk about things and, and uh, there's some things I got to do. I got to be, be better at. You know, but think, for the I most think, part, Eli, I mean, that's not something we grew accustomed with, with, with you and Tom after a game. I mean, once in a while, maybe here or there, but not quite as open. Well, I think, you know, he's talking about the interse- hey, interception and delay gain. Those are the two plays. Those, those are on the quarterback. And, and those two are, are um, you know, always will be. So that's just part of it. I don't think it's it's so much his criticism of you, but it, it seems like it's his resistance to criticize other players. Do you do you think he does that because he thinks you can take it, or or? Well, he knows I can take it. He knows. Hey, I've I've been I've been. Uh, <laughs> you've played 14 years in New York. You've been criticized, right? You you can you can take it pretty much whatever whatever they throw at you. So, uh, and Coach Coach Mac and I are are on the same page, and um, uh, you know anything anything he he says. Whether it's to the media, whether it's to me, to the team, you know, um, it's all for the better of the team, and, and uh, I'm okay with it. What, uh, what personnel groupings do you think you guys have done well with in the offense so far? You mentioned the other day we've got to find kind of our our best look and stick right. with it. What, what do you What well, do you see? No, I think you still got to, You got to mix up. You got to mix up your personnel. We don't want to get into. Uh, uh, that world of, of being in one personnel. I think, uh, you know, we've done some good things in their two tight end sets. Uh, we hit a big play last week down down the sideline to uh, Jarrell. Um, you know, so we just got to figure out, um, you know, yeah, kind of what, what, what uh, yeah, just, you know, how much, uh, how much of, of different types of plays we want to run or, you know, do we just want to stick, you know, stick with what we know and what we're good at or, uh, adventure, you know, get too adventurous where we're running things that, um, you know, might not put us in the best situation. Is there added pressure this week? I mean, teams in this league don't usually come back from the and have much of a season. Um, hey, you know, as again, there's there's pressure to win every week. That's, that's part of being in the NFL. You want to go out there and, um, you know, you got to be careful, uh, um, you know, making something uh, bigger than, than what it is. And I think you always want to be relaxed and, and be ready, but I understand. Hey, it's a, it's a game in a division, and, and we've dug ourselves in a hole. We we gotta we gotta get out of it. Been stuck in a lot of third and long situations. For you guys, how important is it moving forward to get chunks of yardage on first and second down, and, and especially on the ground where it, it's been tough to come by this year? Yeah, well, I think some of it's uh, um, you know, especially last week, it was more just uh, uh, you know having some sacks on first and second down, which you know it just kind of throws off your whole whole routine. So. We got we got to eliminate those things and and you know just got to keep going forward and find completions and and uh, get ourselves in third and manageable. You know, what has Orleans Darkwa added to this <clears throat> offense this year, and what do you think he has to do to get more carries? You know, uh, Orleans runs the ball well. You know, he's had some he's had some catches, so I think he's done you know done everything we asked him to do. He knows the offense, he knows what to do. So, um, you know, again, I don't know how what what the coaches um, plan to how to rotate in those guys, but uh, you know, he's done a good job. When you look at their uh, their film of their front, of Eagles front, do you think, oh man, or do you think, all right, I, I know how we can kind of counteract what they do best? Yeah, I mean, I think yeah, you look you look at their front, you look at, but you, you know, it's not just their front's very talented. They they got some, uh, you know, they got they got three or four guys who can get to the quarterback and and do a good job of uh, whether getting there, or just causing causing you to move, you know, making making uh, problems in the pocket. So. Um, you know, but we got to, you know, that's why we got to look at, you know, see their coverages, see their tendencies and, and find our, the best plays that uh, will help us uh, move the ball and get in good situations. Eli, if, a, if a play call doesn't call for extra help for a tackle, can you, do you have the power at the line to change that? Um, I mean, yes, you, I guess you could, um, you know, so I, there, there's ways you can try to help, help out your tackles. Um, uh, and there's some. Sometimes you can do it. Sometimes, depending on, 
you know, what the defense is doing, you can't. If they're bringing certain pressures or they're bringing uh, certain looks. So, um, you know, and you also got to, you know, you got to get guys out in the route. So there's, there's, a, there's a combination of a lot of things that, that you know, you can do. Uh, that you, gotta, you just got to mix it up. You can't just do one thing over and over again. You know, obviously, you haven't had success, you know, offensively, a lot, ton of success early in the season. How much do you think needs to be changed? Is it just tweaks or you think you need to try some new things completely? Or what do you think is the best avenue of two games into the season at this point? No, I, I think we just um, no. I think we just gotta we gotta execute better. We gotta just find ways to uh, stay in good down and distance, stay in good rhythm, and uh, um, you know get a little confidence going in the offense. So I think um, you know we've talked about uh, some things we can do, and hopefully you know uh, we can play better this week. Eli, the number of hits. Are, it almost seems it seems like like you're getting hit harder this year. Um, you know that's something that you've always pointed to as part of your durability is the ability to. Avoid those big hits. Does, does it feel that way to you that, that these hits are no. ferocious a little bit? No, I mean uh, I took one good one last week, uh, but you know bad situations, kind of a, a screen that got you know um, that they covered up well and ended up rolling left and and uh, and kind of was trying to th you know throw and got hit you know good hit. That's but you know that's kind of not not the that's really not the uh, lineman's fault. Uh, that's just um, you know they played they played it played it well and I kind of took a risk trying to. Trying to you know throw something else on a on a screen. So, um, but you know I think uh, that's just part of it. Hey, there's some 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 weeks you can uh, you'll go several weeks without taking big hits, and sometimes you'll get a bunch in a game. So it's just about uh, hanging in there and being tough. Was that the one on Sterling? Sterling's yeah. Catch? Yeah. So, so the biggest hit was one big pass he completed. That's, that's sometimes you usually it's the ones when you're throwing that, that end up being the biggest hits. You know when you're when you haven't thrown yet or. Or you see it coming. Those are the ones uh, that aren't as bad. Usually, when you're in the when you're in the throwing motion, that's when you're most vulnerable to, to take a good shot. Did you really did throw you it? Then? Is that even who you're throwing? Of course, to? always. <laughs> <laughs> you throw that though if you're down if you're not down 14. You maybe. I went, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, probably yeah, probably a different different scenario. One of the completions to Odell, you were really way under pressure as well, weren't you? Over the middle, and he got a couple yards after the catch, you know, uh, the line had collapsed on you. No. Can't, maybe, maybe. I can't, I can't recall. Because of the amount of pressure, are you having to go make your reads faster? No, I don't, I don't think I've gotten, you know, you can't, you can't get too quick, um, you know, going through reads. It's a, it's a, you know, throw off the timing of things. You got to get, you know, let your number one, uh, you know, route develop and, and go through your progressions. So I think I've done a good job, you know, kind of hanging in there and, and uh, going through the progressions.